Everyone agrees that testing is a really big deal, but everyone has an opinion on the best way to do it. Testing when done right can take your business to the next level. When done wrong, it can literally drive it into the ground. This video is part one of our series on testing mistakes that can kill your business. Today we're going to cover the first two mistakes, so let's get going. The first mistake you need to make if you want to kill your business with testing is optimizing for conversions at the expense of your promise. When you optimize solely for conversions, it's easy to lose touch with what you actually do. Think about it. What converts the best online? Porn and gambling. When you only follow the numbers, no matter what, that's the road you're headed down. It can happen little by little, an over-exaggeration here, a fake testimonial there, and then you look up a year later and you're a mile away from your core values. If you find yourself solely thinking about maximizing conversions at the expense of everything else, you're setting yourself up for failure. A common example of this is late night TV ads that deliver miraculous results. They may make a lot of one-time sales with their amazing promises, but the customer receiving the vastly overrepresented product are always left disappointed. Instead of worrying about making tweaks to your landing pages to make them more aggressive, focus your efforts on crafting a compelling hook or promise that properly represents your product and also addresses your customer's needs. Then the question becomes, how do you know which optimizations are properly aligned with your customer? Ask your customers. You can use surveys like Qualaroo, customer development calls, keywords on inbound traffic, or even heat maps. All of these signals can point you to the parts of the product that most resonate with your audience. Now, use that data to create the hooks and promises that are most likely to trigger positive responses. Mistake number two, waiting too long to get your users to the must-have experience. Sustainable growth comes from having customers that love your must-have experience. They use it regularly, they pay for it, they give you feedback to make it better, and they tell their friends. The key is the must-have experience that your users fall in love with, not an ad or a white paper. If you're optimizing for conversions from ad traffic, but simultaneously making it harder for your users to access that must-have experience, then you're shooting yourself in the foot. Let's say you run an optimization tool and your must-have experience comes from testing the product and playing with it, but you're optimizing for conversions to a drip marketing campaign. You're losing customers. You may be optimizing the conversion rate on the front end, but you're adding friction to the user's mission of getting to the must-have experience. So the question is, how do you prevent this? Ask yourself this question. What are the absolute minimally required pieces of information to get started? Once you've identified those, eliminate everything else. For example, Optimizely is currently testing paid search ad units that ask users to input the URL they want to test Optimizely on. When a visitor enters a URL and clicks the Try It Out, they hit a landing page with a sign-up form. Right behind the form, though, they can see the website and the experiment builder waiting for them. No landing page with an email confirmation, no extra steps. From the ad to the testing interface, the visitor is ready to go with two clicks. That's taking people directly to a must-have experience. So remember, don't optimize for conversions at the expense of your promise and make it as easy as humanly possible for your users to get to your must-have experience. That's it for this week. Next week, we're going to be looking at two other big mistakes you need to make if you want to run your business into the ground by testing. Until next time, happy analytics.